Yes, Lord, yes. Come on and tell the Lord, yes. We say yes, and we say yes. We say yes to you, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes. We say yes, and we say yes. We say yes to you, Jesus. Yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes. Listen, on today, we're talking about your season of restoration begins now. Your season of restoration begins now. But before we go into the word, just lift your hands to heaven and tell the Lord yes one more time. We say yes to you, Jesus. And we say yes, we say yes to you, yes, we say yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, we say yes to you, and we say yes, we say yes to you, Jesus, yes, yes, Lord, yes. Lord, yes, I give myself, I give myself away, I give myself away, I give myself away, so you, so you, we love you Jesus, I give myself away, Lord we love you with all of our hearts our minds, our souls, our bodies, our strength. We belong to you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. I give myself, I give myself away. I give myself away. My God, my God. Feel the presence of God. On this morning, we're talking about your restoration begins now. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we're about to go into the word of God, speak to your people, minister to them, strengthen them, encourage them, I pray. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Someone say a good amen right now. I want to take you into the word of God in the book of 2 Kings chapter 8. 2 Kings chapter 8. I want you to listen to this, talking about the Shunammite woman again. <laughs> I, I just love the life of this woman and what God did in her life, amen? It's worth talking about because, you know, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Second Kings chapter 8, verses 1 through 6. The Bible says, Then spoke Elisha unto the woman whose son he had restored to life, saying, Arise, and go thou in the household, and sojourn wherever you can. For the Lord, not the devil, for the Lord hath called for famine, and it shall also come upon the land seven years. Listen, God is God. He does whatever he wants. You, you can't tell God how to do it. You can't tell him when to do it. Amen? So there are times when God calls for a famine, and I believe God does it to get our attention. I believe whenever we slack our writing in our relationship with the Lord Jesus, I believe God allows certain things to happen, to wake us up. I'd rather God wake me up than to just allow me to open my eyes in hell one day. I'd rather him correct me. I'd rather him discipline me because the Bible says, whoever the Lord loves, he corrects. So if God is not disciplining you like this generation we are in, they don't want no one hardly tell them what to do. Not everyone is lost. There's a remnant out there. But listen to what the Bible says. Verse two says, and the woman arose and did according to the saying of the man of God. And she went with her, hus with her household, her husband and her son, and sojourned in the land of the Philistine seven years. Now look, the minute God sends a word to someone and they act according to that word, they walk in obedience to that word, just know the Holy Ghost is setting the scene for a miracle to take place because God honors obedience. Listen to this. The Bible says in verse three, and it came to pass at the end of seven years that the woman returned out of the land of the Philistines 
and she went forth to cry unto the king for her house and for her land. Because she left during the famine pretty much meant that she lost everything. She gave up everything willingly and now she's back. Now someone else has ownership of that land. And now she's asking the king to restore it back to her. I want you to pay attention. What she did, it was in obedience to the word of God. Are you listening to me? Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19, I believe, says, If you be willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Now watch this. So this woman need restoration to take place. And she's talking to the king. Now this is what blows my mind. I want you to see the timing of God in this story. Look here. The Bible says in verse 4, And the king, the same time the woman was going to the king to beg to get her property back, the Bible says, At the same time the king talked with Gehazi, the servant of Elisha, saying, Tell me, I pray you. Come on, tell me all the great things that Elisha has done. Verse 5 says, And it came to pass, as Gehazi, Elisha's servant, was telling the king how Elisha had restored a dead body to life, that the same time the woman whose son Elisha had restored to life cried to the king for her house and for her land. And Gehazi said unto the king, My lord, O king, this is the very woman I'm talking about. And this is her son, whom God had raised from the dead through the life of Elisha. <laughs> you talk about perfect timing. Now watch this. Look at verse 6. And when the king asked the woman, she told him. She said, what Gehazi is telling you is absolutely true. My son died and God used the prophet Elisha to raise him back from the dead. My God, you talk about the power of the testimony. That will preach right there. But watch this. So the king appointed unto her a certain officer saying, Restore everything that was hers and all the fruits of the field from the day she left seven years ago until now. <clears throat> Are you listening to the word of God here? Everything that woman had lost because of perfect timing, because of the power of the testimony of what Elisha the prophet did in the life of that woman, raising her son back to life. The same time Gehazi is there rehearsing the story, my God, the woman showed up the same time. I say, God, he has perfect timing. I say, God knows how to speak on your behalf. You ain't got to elbow your way to the top. You can just sit back and fast and pray and pray. Put confidence in the Lord God Almighty because God knows how to speak on your behalf when it's time for you to get it all back. Everything that you lost, my God, God will arrange the circumstances of your life. God will have the right person in the right place at the right time talking to the right person on your behalf so that when you show up, all you need to do is say, I want it all back. And because God has set this woman up for a miracle, I believe God is setting you up for a miracle you're wondering. How is this going to work out? How is this going to turn out? Ah, but the Holy Ghost want me to tell you. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Even to those that are called according to his purpose. God have already gone before you. And God is working it out. By the time you get to where you need to get to, you're going to know that God have already gone before you and worked out all the details. My God, my God, my God. Somebody shout and give him a praise. You coming into a season of restoration. I say you coming into a season of restoration. Come on and lift your hands to heaven right now. My God, my God, my God. I say you coming into a season of restoration. Your restoration begins now the bible says when the lord turn again the captivity of zion we were like those that dream your season of restoration it begins now come on lift your hands to heaven 
for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else there is no one else like you for you are great come on lift your hands to heaven I cover you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that God restore all the losses you had I'm talking about losses of things that meant something to you like your marriage like your job I pray that God would restore it back to you David said he restores my soul he anoints my head with oil and my cup runs over the Bible says in the book of Joel chapter 2 that God will restore unto you the years that the caterpillar and the canker worm has stolen away from you and I want to say to you because of your obedience because of your love for the Lord Jesus Christ God is going to restore to you the things you lost I cover you my friend in the blood of Jesus Christ I declare your restoration begins now in the name of Jesus Christ listen I want to invite the rest of you if you didn't have a chance to subscribe to our YouTube channel click on that red and white button on the bottom right side of the screen and it would make you a subscriber of our channel every time we go live you would receive the notifications every time we upload a new video you'll receive the notifications if you're watching us through Facebook follow us on Facebook like us on Facebook we love to have you a part of our social media family we so appreciate everything that you guys are doing and I want to ask you if this ministry is a blessing to you I'm asking you so seed into this ministry stand with us the information is on the screen you can visit us online at seanpinder.net forward slash give if you have a PayPal account paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries amen we love you guys we appreciate you we don't take nothing that you are doing for granted and on tomorrow morning we're talking about seeing through the eyes of faith seeing through the eyes of faith we love you guys and we mean it we love you and remember if you've surrendered your life to Jesus through this program email us info at seanpinder.net email us share your testimonies with us if you receive a miracle a healing a financial breakthrough something good happened as a result of this broadcast we need to hear from you guys we want to know what God's doing in your life we love you God bless you see you on tomorrow as we talk about seeing through the eyes of faith God bless bye bye